Squeezebox is a sound and video sculpture exploring interaction and transformation. Kinetic sculpture and interactive sound and graphics are combined to deliver a broad expression of movement, time and space. Squeezebox invites participation with its grasping hands. The movable hands are the interface of the sculpture and act as pressure points on an information system which generates both music and image. By pushing down on the hands, participants are able to shift a sound mass from one pressure point to another, and in doing so affect the tonal qualities of the music as it moves through space. The system of rules used to produce the music is never static. One spatial strategy gives way to another, resulting in an evolution of sound, requiring a constant shifting of consciousness in the listener. The real-time animation provides a bridge between the ephemeral world of the sound and the physicality of the kinetic sculpture. As the sculpted hands are pushed down, the knuckles and fingers form impressions on the plastic virtual image. The graphic can be viewed as an abstract representation of sound as a physical shape, a form which can be squeezed and stretched by participants in sympathy with their movements. The radial symmetry of the graphic and the four access points defined by the arc borders of the sculpture mean that Squeezebox can be operated by between one and four people and can be approached from any direction. The level of activity of the sculpture determines the rate of change for both the colour palettes and the sound textures. Squeezebox weighs approximately 100 kilograms, is 140 centimetres high, 130 centimetres wide and 120 centimetres deep. The sculpture is made from steel, brass, acrylic and hardwood. It has four pneumatic pistons and related flow controls and regulators, four loudspeakers, ultrasound equipment, as well as a monitor situated beneath one-way mirror. Reflected ultrasound pulses sent from the base of the sculpture are used to determine the level of piston depression. This information is sent as a digital signal to a control room where it is used by both graphics and music computers. The graphics computer samples and quantizes this information and prints to the screen an appropriate bitmap image in response to the piston configuration. The music computer converts the information into Cartesian coordinates which it uses to project sounds into space and as an input for various compositional algorithms. The sculpture's pneumatics are powered by a cylinder of compressed air. Thank <laughs> you.